welcome to my channel this is Bruce Tutor and what I do is solve technical drive problems and also provide information that can help you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations um, this uh, particular diagram that you see here uh, today uh, the Ghanaian uh, candidates for WIEC they had their own uh, paper today so that is paper 2 and um, paper 1 and paper 2 okay and uh, thanks to a friend uh, that forwarded uh, these uh, questions to me okay so I want us to look at how we can solve this problem and this is question one and as we have here that figure one shows an isometric view of a block we are asked to draw full size the complete third angle orthographic projection of the block taking the view in direction of arrow k as the front elevation so this is the diagram as you see it here and this is arrow k okay so the front elevation is going to give us this l shape and also this shape that we have here but it's going to be a rectangle it's going to be a rectangle okay this time from here to here is 80 millimeters from here to here is 55 and then we have from here to here is 35 okay then the radius of this uh semicircle here is 15 so why the and the diameter of this circle is 10 so that is what we are going to get as the front elevation okay so uh but we are going to uh we, and then for the plan so this time from year to year is 50 okay so from year to year is 50 and then uh we have that um okay uh what other thing do we have for the plan so we already have a thickness from year to year is 10 that's going to be in the front elevation but you see i'm going to construct this object so let's start uh, so the first thing that we need to do is to draw a horizontal line so I'm going to draw horizontal line like this then I'm going to uh, draw a vertical line so just coming to this side so we are going to draw a vertical line here so and I'm going to take a measurement of uh, 80 millimeters so here is 80 millimeter that's to the total length so 80 millimeters this 80 millimeters then we take 10 so the thickness uh, for the plan so we are placing the plan up here the front elevation is here because we are drawing the views in third angle projection so we the, the, the 10 that I took from year to year is this 10 that we have from year to year now okay so that's it okay so with what we have there uh, for the plan so then we are going to uh, Take a measurement of 50 millimeters on this vertical line so 50 millimeters then we break it down into two that is 25 okay so 25 then uh, for this part that we have here so from here to here so from here to here is 15 from here to here is 15 so from here to here is 15 so um so if we divide 15 by 2 so that will give us i think i'll be i'll change these dimensions because I can't see these dimensions very well so I'm going to make it something like uh, 20 so I make it 20 so that means uh, from ye from year to year is 10 and from year to year is 10 so and then so for this one I will still leave it uh, just let me okay uh, let's make it to be something like 16 so uh, uh, I'll just make it 16 so I'm just changing it so just follow the dimensions when it is given to you so i'm not uh this is not uh an exam for me okay so i'm going to take a measurement here again so from this point so i will take a measurement of 10 millimeters down so 10 millimeters down and then so and then 10 millimeters up here so we have this okay so that's what i'm going to do so here now i'm going to draw a horizontal line so and the horizontal line will go to both sides because we are going to draw both the left end elevation and the right end elevation so this is a center line so it goes like this okay so we have this then I'm going to draw uh, this line so it goes like this okay so also so I'm going to draw this line as horizontal line so it goes like this all right so then here i'm going to draw a vertical line so for this i will draw a vertical line so at this point so this will be a vertical line okay so this also will be a vertical line all right so and then 
so we have that total distance from here to this center is 35 so i have to take a measurement of 35 millimeters so this is 35 millimeters so it should be from this line here so this is 35 so we should be the center of the uh, circle and also the semicircle so i'm going to draw a vertical center line so here it goes like this all right so we have this so then the next thing that i'm going to do is that uh we are going to draw the semicircle so um so just put at the center here so extend it to this point here so um then so we can go on and draw the semicircle okay all right so we can draw the semicircle like this Alright, so we have drawn the semicircle. We have drawn the semicircle, and then for the circle itself, so the radius is uh, is six uh, is eight. So I will take eight millimeters on my ruler. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing here. So then we draw a circle. So the circle goes like this. Um, I think this is too big. All right, so um, we are still we still make use of the dimensions they give for that small circle. So I will still use ten as it is given. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to construct a square of length uh, ten here. So I take five five, and then so coming from this center, so I will take five here and uh, five up here. So I'm going to draw a square so on this uh face here all right so i will draw uh, a vertical line here also i will draw a vertical line so i cannot go ahead and so i'll just use my hand so to draw the circle so the circle is small okay so this is it so we just leave it like this okay all right so then the next thing that we are going to do is that to complete the plan so the com to complete the plan so we are going to make um so we are going to make this line so this line will be a thick line from here to here okay and this line will also be a thick line from here to here then so this is a thick line so i'm going to pause the video and bring out the feasible outlines of the object all right so this is the plan so now let's go and draw the front elevation so we are drawing a third angle projection so the front elevation will be down here so we draw a horizontal line so and it goes to both sides it goes to both sides okay so now so we are going to take uh, 55 millimeters down so 55 millimeters down from this point so we take 55 millimeters down then we take 10 millimeters up from where this 55 ends here so and then we are going to draw a horizontal line here okay so also here we draw a horizontal line so it goes like this and then the next thing that we are going to do is that so from here so we take um so the height from here to here so the height of this is not given i can't see it here but i'm going to take it as 15 millimeters so i will take 15 millimeters up so this is 15 millimeters there so then i'm going to draw a horizontal line so to both sides okay so we have this so all that we need here but I also need to draw this point. So I need to draw a vertical line from this point here in the plan. So I need to draw it down so, so that we can have that part in the front elevation. So here I will draw a vertical line. So from here, so draw a vertical line down. Okay, so then the next thing that we are going to do is to bring out the feasible outline. So I'm going to do that while I pause the video. So this is the front elevation as you see it here. So now let's draw the 
a left end elevation to draw the left end elevation so we take a 45 degree set square so we are going to set it here at this point so we set it here at this point here so then we are going to draw a line so a line in this direction so it goes up here so let's do that of the right end elevation at once so we also draw in this direction okay so we have done that so for the left end elevation so left end elevation will be placed on the left side of the front elevation in third angle projection so while in uh, for the uh, right end elevation we place it on the right side of the front elevation in third angle projection so that is uh, what makes the so what makes the front uh, the first angle projection to be different from the uh, third, uh, third angle projection and also we have the plan up here unlike that of the first angle projection which the front elevation is placed here okay so uh, we draw a vertical line down here so and also here we draw a vertical line okay so then this is a center line so we draw this cent a center line so we draw this as a center line it's down here so we also draw a vertical line down so and then here we draw a vertical line down okay all right so let's look at the shape as we have here so for the uh for the left end elevation we are looking at the object in this direction and we are going to see this rectangle so this is the rectangle from year to year so we are going to see this this is going to be a a, a, a like a square or a rectangle so um we are going to have it like this then we have this rectangle like this then we are going to have this curve and this curve so let's see how that uh, goes so what we need to do now is that i'm going to uh, bring out this uh, rectangle that we have here so we are going to make it a thick line so we'll make it a thick line like this and then we we'll also make this a thick line okay all right so then uh, coming up here so here we have this okay so there's something that you need to do concerning this because um so this line that we have for this circle i'm supposed to uh, extend it as horizontal line to both sides so i didn't do that i'm doing it now okay all right so then i'm going to draw a vertical line so at this point down okay so then from here also so we draw a vertical line all right so then so here we have what this is going to be hidden so it's going to be hidden so we draw it as short dashes line okay also we draw this as short dashes line okay so the whole so we'll be hidden in the uh from the left end elevation as we have here so we have this shape so then uh we are going to make this line this line will be a complete uh, thick line but before that so this curve that we have here this curve that we have here the radius is 10 we also have the curve here so the radius is 10 so i'm going to take 10 millimeters so i take 10 millimeters down so this is 10 millimeters and here also i will take 10 millimeters to this side so we are going to form a square so this is 10 and also this is 10 okay so then i'm going to draw a vertical line at this point okay so also here i will draw a vertical line here then i'm going to draw horizontal this horizontal line because we are still going to do the same thing for the right end elevation so i'm going to draw it so from here i will take it to the right side so we form the curve here so uh to draw the curve so i'm going to use um my hand to form the curve so it goes like this so i'll just manage it like this okay so also so i'm going to take this So from here to here. Alright, so I'll just leave it like that. So then, so this line now, so we now make it a thick line down here. 
so we also make this 80 climb down okay so then so this will be 80 climb so this is the left end elevation so let's now go and draw the right end elevation so what we need to do now is that so from this point so we draw a vertical line down okay then at this point so we draw a vertical line also um, at this point I will draw a vertical line so at this point so we draw a center line through this okay so then I'm going to draw so a vertical line here then here I will draw a vertical line then here I will also draw a vertical line alright so then so looking at what we have here on this side here we are going to see a shape so all this part will be hidden from us this will be hidden so this shape here will be hidden okay so it's going to be hidden and also this line up here will be hidden so we need to take note of that so let's start with that so first of all we are going to make this line this line will be a thick line this particular line will be a thick line so this is it so make the thick line so why this won't be hidden so it will be hidden so we make it short dashes line okay then this particular shape here unlike the way we see it here in the left end elevation it will not be like that so this will be the whole of this will be hidden okay so also the whole will be hidden so everything here is hidden from us on that side okay so then so we also make this with short dashes line all right so we have this so other thing that i need to put here is the shape that we produce here so we have already drawn the horizontal line 10 so then for this one i will take 10 millimeters okay so here i will also take 10 millimeters here so i'm going to form so a square here i'm going to form a square All right, so here I'm going to use my hand to produce the cuff and then here I will also produce the cuff all right so just my it like this so then so I'm going to make this a thick line then so this will be a thick line okay and this will also be a thick line so this is the right end elevation all right these are the views as required it's as simple as i've done it here all you need to do is to practice so thank you keep on practicing and god bless you